like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a side is set on her prey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So today's video is just going to be some extreme cleaning. Originally, I wasn't planning on doing my whole entire house, but I kind of just got started and it just kind of turned out that way. So I hope you are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation because this is going to give it to you. But it is also a whole house cleaning, which I absolutely love sharing these ones with you guys. They always get me motivated to get things done. So I hope this does get you motivated to get up and clean right alongside with me. So let's just go ahead and jump right to it and get started. Okay, so I am just starting out in our bedroom. I'm gonna tidy things up and make our bed. And I've said this numerous times, but I absolutely love making my bed. <clears throat> I love having a made bed. It just feels so good, it makes me feel so productive. But you guys, sometimes it does not happen. There are plenty of days where my bed just goes unmade or I am making it while the boys are napping in the afternoon. But it's just, it is what it is. And I really try and make it a priority, but just know it does not happen all the time. As you can see, I am changing the little tray up in our, that sits on our bed. I just wanted to add a few little bit of fall touches. I actually might take that plant off and switch it out with something else. I'm just not really sure what. Um, but I added the pumpkin and then this candle smells amazing. It is by far one of our favorite candles. The little container is so pretty. It actually came from Target last year. And they have the same candle, but it's not in a little pretty container. So pretty, you guys. And it smells so good. It's called pump. It's called a pumpkin bourbon. Um, but anyways, moving into the bathroom, I am just coming in here to straighten things up. The sink didn't need too much work. It just needed to be tidied up and wiped down. But then I will also be moving to the bathtub and the shower and use my bathtub and shower cleaner for that because it was definitely due. So really quick, if you guys are new to my channel, first of all, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by to watch this. I really hope you are enjoying it so far and it's got you up and cleaning right alongside with me or you are just saving the motivation for when you are ready to get some things done. But really quick, my name is Lauren and I am a mom to two boys. Colton is four and Logan actually just turned two. So as you can imagine, my house is chaos all the time so I absolutely love sharing these videos with you guys I love getting you all motivated and just inspired to get some things done around your own home but also over on my channel I love sharing some organization decluttering a little bit of decorating and just anything and everything that helps you guys have some happy and clean homes so if you enjoy content like that be sure to subscribe down below if you are not already I would absolutely love to have you as part of my YouTube family.
So just out of curiosity, how often do you guys clean your showers and your tubs? I shoot for at least once a week. It does not always happen. So if it doesn't, if that doesn't happen, it's every other week or so. But we also have a huge problem with hard water spots in this shower. It is so annoying because you can really see it sometimes. So what we found to help reduce it is dry the shower after we're done with it. But even then, it still does leave some water spots. And I have used this stuff that I'm using right now. It actually came from Grove, and it's just their bathroom and tile cleaner. And then I've also used a mixture of vinegar, Dawn dish soap, and water, which also helped a little bit. But yeah, hard water spots is so annoying. <laughs> I can't stand them. Like two fires, movement so graceful. Wildcat in the jungle with dangerous claws. Movement she anticipates a sight is set on her prey. Like stars in the darkest night, crystallize, fascinate. If you want to stay alive, if you don't want to be her prey, don't stand in her way. Run, run, run away. Crystallize, 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 watching her prey. Crystallize, crystallize. Okay, so moving into the boys' bedrooms, both the rooms were actually in great shape. They just needed a little bit of tidying up, and we've actually been spending a lot of time out of the house, so it has really helped keep the mess down to a minimum. Um, so yeah, I just tidied up both their bedrooms very, very quickly. It was a really nice surprise. I love it when that happens, but there are plenty of times where I come up here and just basically close the door because I just don't want to deal with it. Anybody else do that? Because, yeah, that's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so making my way downstairs, this was so funny. Logan literally did this whole entire mess in like a 10 second time span. I was getting Colton ready to go upstairs to take a nap and he kept himself busy by pulling all of these toys out of this little basket. So it's the little things that keep them entertained sometimes, I swear. But I'm also going to refill my little diaper basket. I like to keep baskets, I like to keep diapers downstairs just because it's super convenient and they are put away not you know hanging out out of this little basket here but I also am just going to finish tidying up and then move into the family room So typically I will actually have the boys help me clean up their messes. Um, I try and have them do it 
on a daily basis, but there are some times where we run out of time or I will just basically do it for them only because it's quicker and um, if we don't do pick up time during the day, then I will have them help me pick up their bedroom or put some things away before bedtime. So I do work with them on helping clean up their messes on a daily basis, but there are a few times where I just basically want to get it done and just do it really quickly. <laughs> Okay, so moving into the kitchen, I actually spend quite a bit of time in here. I am going to straighten it up and do all the normal things, finishing loading the dishes, and then I am going to spend some extra time wiping down the bottom level of the cabinets because I was noticing the other day that there are a ton of sticky fingers or fingerprints or handprints on a lot of these cabinets so it was really bugging me and so I wanted to spend some time and just wipe them down. I do this periodically, I probably should do it more often but that is what I'm going to be working on today. Look. So I don't know why, but I am always so surprised at how dirty these cabinets get. It just amazes me sometimes. And it's not like super disgustingly dirty, it's just dirt here and there, there's fingerprints, and it's the fingerprints and handprints that always get me because even though I don't always see them putting their hands on the cabinets, I know that they are constantly touching them, so you would think. It makes sense, but it just always surprises me at how dirty these things get.
So really quick, if you guys are still watching this at this point, first of all, thank you. I'm so glad you are enjoying it. But also, make sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss anything new. Turn those bell notifications on. I shoot to have one video a week. Uh, mostly Sundays are my good days to upload. So if you guys are still watching this at this point, first of all, thank you so much. I'm so glad you are enjoying it. But also, make sure to subscribe if you are not already and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any new uploads. I definitely try to have one video out a week. I want to start actually bumping it up and put out two videos. I love sharing these with you guys and we just have a lot going on right now. So stay tuned. I will definitely chat about that in my next video. But yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed, turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any of my new videos. And last but not least, I am just gonna come into the bathroom here, tidy things up, put things away, wipe things down, all that good stuff. But I'm also going to wipe down the bathroom cabinet. It has been a while since I've done it and it was definitely time. Thinking about it, I probably should have done this while I was in here reorganizing it in my last video, but I didn't even think about it. So I am doing that today. And then I'm just going to finish up tidying a few things. But that's actually going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this extreme clean with me. And it gave you some extreme cleaning motivation while I went through my whole entire house and cleaned it up. It felt so good. I felt so productive. So anyways, make sure you guys are subscribed before you leave here. And I will see you in our next video. Bye.